He's, he's trying to be the hero. Like, never give up. Squishy told me to, to play the game until it hits zero. Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video. And today we have a what rank can you get when you have three fresh brand new accounts playing Rocket League together. Uh, we all three bought Rocket League on new accounts. Um, so these are technically Smurfs. And, you know, these games are going to be pretty simple for us. These first ten games is we're going to be playing bronze silver and gold and maybe even platinum diamond or even champ you don't know uh exactly where we're gonna place yet but that's what this video is about so you're gonna see a lot of you know obvious um identic you know i don't know ways to identify that these guys you know are probably gold level players um i do have back mod on so you're able to see when i press tab uh you're gonna be able to see the ranks of the other players and the ranks of us um this was a you know a thing we wanted to do uh, just to see, you know, what rank can you start out with? Um, and that kind of depends on a few factors. It obviously depends on uh, the players we play against. Uh, as some players, you know, when you queue up, we're getting people that are bronze, even though we were uh, gold MMR at the time. And so we only got like 25 or 35 points uh, compared to, you know, that 45 that we could start out with in the beginning because of the MMR win streaks and the placements going on. So. Um, if you guys don't know much about MMR numbers, make sure you guys get Bacchus Mod or Alpha Console. I like Bacchus Mod personally, but they're both great, and uh, they can help you guys get your, um, you know, the MMR on your rank, so you can see, you know, what it takes to rank up and how much per loss. Um, but we're just jacking around here in uh, this game personally. I was at least, and I, <laughs> I definitely know my teammates were too. So. Uh, but these were 10 easy wins, and I, I just didn't actually know, um, you know, what was the actual rank you're able to get if you win 10 straight Rocket League games on new accounts. So this is what we actually figured out. Um, as we get into this uh, this game right here, uh, I think this is our, I don't know, this might be our fifth game right here. Uh, but we'll skip ahead and jump to our 10th game. So right here, you're going to be able to see that we are out of nine games placed we have nine well we have nine wins obviously and so we're going to be on our 10th game and with our 10th game you're going to be able to see that uh, we're going to be playing probably better players as that redirect goes horribly wrong um, as I'm talking here let's see if we can get some numbers on these next players uh, the next players are going to be in the 777 what is that 802 828 so I think that's around plat MMR. Uh, we are all at 863. We're gonna have the same numbers. We've talked about in um, earlier as well that you know I really hope none of us you know get kicked out of the party. We don't notice that we go in queue and then we're you know our numbers are all jacked up uh, to, instead of just trying to keep our ranks together, which we're gonna be trying to do uh, between twos and threes. Uh, I think me and Distract are gonna be playing twos together, keeping that together, or me and Yeet, otherwise known as, um, but. In threes, it's going to be us three trying to see how far we can go as a group of players um, that aren't, you know, to that GC level yet, or maybe not even to the C3 level. Uh, we've we've reached GC or C3 multiple times. Uh, Silent Knight has reached about C1, C2 area, so uh, it should be a good challenge for us to see how far we can get. Um, but as the clock kind of ticks down here, we're going to realize that. You know we are going to win our 10th game and you know and we know we're going to win because we're honestly just we're playing against plats as you know c2 c3 so you, you don't feel good about any of these games the good thing is uh, you know the, the opposing team's only losing about six points per game which uh really isn't too much and you know it's not going to penalize them much for losing a game you know they're probably you know guaranteed to lose i mean if we lost any of these first 10 games, it would be a bad feeling. So uh, if you're champ one and you want to, you know, get better with you and your team, I really do suggest actually getting new accounts and just jumping into maybe running threes with, uh, you know, brand new team, a brand new roster. Uh, you'll all be the same rank. So you'll actually get like better together instead of ranking up solo and then playing with them or ranking up together and then playing solo you'll actually stick your team's rank together and you know this will be a great way for us three to get better together and I highly suggest that uh, you, you know maybe get even just a duo partner if you guys are looking to do twos uh, 
you know, like me and Yeet will be doing. Uh, it's just really that much um, better practice uh, if you're looking to get better with another player or maybe another, you know, person or two. But as the, like I said, as the clock kind of goes down here little by little, uh, we start to realize we are going to win this one because we're at 1-0 with, you know, 3 7 left. Um, barely missed the air dribble there and, you know, he puts it back into the left side. Uh, but we'll skip ahead here to the end. So you see, we do end up getting a double whiff here and I end up finishing it off. Uh, we get the 3-0 winner by forfeit um and that'll be our 10th win in a row all three brand new fresh accounts and you're going to finally see the rank we reach uh rank we achieve and it's actually going to be a plat three division four um after the 10-0 start we get the plat three division four we're still gaining like 32 per game so ranking up from here should be fast and easy and guys i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of information and kind of what we're doing here um, and I'll see you guys next time.